Welcome back. Uh, now, the year has started and we're looking at different forms or levels of government and what the agenda is for this year. Uh, you recall yesterday on Cheche we had a look at what the political parties are looking to do this year and the legislative agenda. Today we want to look at devolution and of course when we talk about devolution looking at county governments. So we're joined in the studio by John Nyagarama, the governor for Nyamira. Not a very controversial county, if you say, if you follow the news, but still very significant. Uh, Governor Karibu. Asante sana. Now, you know Nyamira is not uh, famous for controversies, but of course we know uh, there's also a bit of challenges of security, uh, you know, those things which happen around there. And f for us, let me say this, as a journalist, Nyamira has been very notorious as a dangerous place to work. So, <laughs> for journalism, first tell us how is the security uh, in Yamira before we got into the big issue. Thank you very much. Uh, first, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Citizen TV for uh, giving me this opportunity. And uh, I realize that uh, uh, this is uh, the first function that uh, I am having during this year, just at the, the start of the year. Right. Let me first uh, and foremost take this opportunity to as I get this opportunity here to pass my condolences to the people of Nyamira uh, who lost, uh, 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 there was a, a fatal accident uh, between uh, 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 Nyaramba and uh, Kabrigo, and uh, one person lost life and several were injured. It involved uh, a matatu and a personal vehicle where one of the former directors lost his life and I want to pass my condolences Director to of of Kibrigo uh, Tea Factory, yes. uh, Mr. So Abuga. Mm. I want to pass uh, my condolences and tell them to stay calm as uh, the matter is uh, being handled. And uh, I want to wish those ones who are in the hospital uh, the quickest uh, recovery ever. Uh, so, uh, Nyamira, uh, as you say, is a quiet, fairly quiet, uh, uh, non-controversial uh, a lot of county. A lot of uh, counties are having challenges with the county assemblies, threats of impeachment. There is quiet in Yamira. Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's the way uh, things are managed, but first I must say that God has assisted us because uh, as human beings we may not be able to do everything. There is the hand of God mm -hmm. that uh, we can see that is assisting us. But that does not mean that we do not have our challenges. We, we also have our challenges here and there. And we try as much as possible to contain them before they go into explosions. If you are able to, to, to deal with those problems uh, yeah. at the NAP and uh, you do not allow them to, to go very high, then yeah. we have uh, managed uh, yeah. I, I mentioned quietly. I mentioned security relatively. How are things? I mean, I mentioned that because I remember there was a time Sungu Sungu was a big deal. Uh, some journalists who killed uh, Francis Nyaruri many years ago, uh, but uh, you know it's been a persistent Sungu -sungu problem. Sungu has um, never been uh, in Yamira. Sungu Sungu, and I is don't in know uh, we, we have Kisi. heard about it in Kisi. Kisi, neighboring. Yeah, Kisi. security is not uh, is not is not very very. You know we are not very safe, but we we cannot uh, uh, blow it that one that one out of proportion. We are saying that uh, we are trying to manage. We right. have put up structures. We are in very good talking terms with the national government, under whose docket the security, you know, falls. falls. But then, uh, I am the governor of that county. You cannot leave security matters to to the national government, even yeah. if the constitution says it is the national government. We are working together to make sure that uh, uh, security has been contained, and uh, we have. Uh, uh, addressed that one by having groups of uh, community policing and, uh, and, uh, and the national government is coming in. So there are, you know, uh, isolated uh, instances, mm. but uh, we cannot say that uh, the security is very bad. Yeah. There was yeah. political heat when the speaker was impeached. What's the background of this matter? Well, uh, that did not involve the executive. What really happened was that it was uh, an assembly matter uh, where uh, the, the speaker uh, and the committee, uh, uh, you know, unilaterally uh, gave a, 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 a contract to an insurance company to cover the, the MCS uh, health, uh, you know, scheme. 
and uh, they didn't uh, they didn't like it the way it had been done because it had uh, just been passed and the check had been given so yeah. they felt they were they, they were they were they, they were annoyed and they uh, they impeached it a lot of people feel that corruption has been devolved in counties how are you doing your business there to well that, uh, uh, that kind of corruption is not repeated uh, I don't know really. <laughs> I don't know really why. What, what mean? What uh, we are all human beings, and uh, and uh, what was happening at the national government could uh, could have gone down to to the counties. But uh, if there are a lot of complaints that governors are giving tenders, the executives are um, handpicking contractors and uh, those kind of things. If the governors are giving contracts anywhere. I would be shocked because how does a governor, you know, leave his place as a governor, as the chief executive, and get involved in giving tenders? Influence. The executives. Influence. Well, uh, in any case, the executives are appointed by you, the governor. Yes, but you see, you, you must give them autonomy. If you appoint them and then you control them in whatever they do, then it means you are the person working. But uh, you, you give them some. Uh, some leeway, some autonomy to work, and uh, you, you you stay at the top, and you 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 watch and see what's happening. If uh, uh, you know the executives in any case, uh, it's only the the chief officers, the 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 the, 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 the ministers or the executives, the the, 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 the are not involved in, uh, in giving tenders. Uh, there are, there is the tender board that uh, deals with that. Yeah. If the tender board would be, I'm not ruling it out, the tender board could be corrupt. And that is something that all of us would be concerned about. Yeah. But in, in the bigger picture of things, uh, as governors, when you sit, you know, and you are part of these committees that have been set up by the Council of Governors, uh, and there's a lot of public complaints about that devolution of corruption generally, have the governors going forward this year, I mean, you're looking at cleaning up, getting better governance as a country and moving things forward. Have we, in the county level, identified this is a big problem, system-wide, in your meetings? Yes, uh, it's true. Uh, there would be some, some counties where, where corruption would be rampant, and there would be some counties where there is no corruption. Essentially, it will depend. I mean, even if you pass the laws at the committees, yeah. Uh, the, the, it will not. Uh, these things will not uh, matter really down there. Yes. What matters down there is uh, how prepared the, the governor and and his deputy and the and the rest of those people who are down there yes, to nab this thing yeah. down there, because whatever is passed as council of governors. Well, I, why I say that is because of course uh, the the law establishing the uh, council of governors is for sharing best practices. Uh, and challenges and confronting them in a uniform or collective manner. Uh, and that's why you set up those committees of health, personnel, you know, finance committee and so forth. So when those challenges come, you can benchmark and say, look, we are facing this across the board. How do we respond to them? Uh, that's why I'm asking. The matter of corruption, of course, is a national cancer. And people are saying, how do we tackle corruption? It's been devolved downwards. Counties are grappling with it, employment, tenders are being awarded in a manner that is discriminatory or prejudicial to others. Let's, let's see also, let, let's, let's look at who is complaining. You know, uh, recently I, I was having a meeting with, which is a very rare thing, with the tenders, with the, the contractors. Yes. And, uh, and, and they were comp complaining about corruption. So I asked them, <laughs> who is corrupt? Who gives, who gives these people money? Mm. Who gives the, 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 the people, uh, say, if it's the executives? They are the same people who continue going around. Why can't they be clean when they have, you know, tendered, they have uh, submitted their tenders, yeah. they wait, and, 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 and they are given. Yeah. But instead of uh, doing that, they are always knocking at the doors of the of the of the MCS. They are knocking at the doors of the strand of influence, you know, the, to try uh, and influence. Tenders, yeah. So. Th that that thing is not uh, it, that it, it it shows the nature you know the total nature of our of our society that that rotten portion of our yeah. of our society w we cannot say that uh, it's, it's it's really the current government we are talking about the totality of the people and how this vice.
can be can be handled. Yes. Yes, I've n I've, I've not had a lot of complaints in okay. in Nyamira because we we are trying to be as 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 far away as yeah. possible in terms of determining who is going to get which tender. The yeah. best qualified yeah. should be given. What about employment? The, the law requires that one third of that percent <laughs> be from outside. Yes, it's, it's actually it's, 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 yeah. is it is it ten percent or something like that? Yeah. yeah it, when when you employ when you employ people people apply, mm -hmm. and uh, and definitely you take the best. Uh, in certain cases, you may get that it has gone even beyond that percent, depending on the people yeah. you you wanted. But there is also this pressure from yes. uh, the locals from from the locals yeah. from the you know everybody around yeah. you know they they want their their own people. W that understanding should be extended. Everybody must understand. Members of parliament, MCAs, senators, mm -hmm. all of them should understand. And even our own people. Yeah. That if I am a Makisi and we are giving a, a place to a Luo or a Karijin or a Kikuyu, it's in order as long as that person is yeah. uh, But, is but let's, let's, uh, I don't know whether you have any statistics from your own county government because I know many uh, counties are having that challenge yes when uh, in fact people who are not from the dominant communities resident there are actually suffering a lot from this devolution uh, competence notwithstanding the pressure from locals to say this is our place we want jobs if they want their jobs let them go there you want tenders let them go back you know to their domestic or original communities the law is clear uh, is that not a real problem it's a big problem and uh, this is not something that uh, uh, can be thrown to a governor or one person or that it is uh, something that all of us must be willing to address that attitude change is uh, of necessity uh, a critical issue because uh, the Constitution is very clear it says when you are giving when you are wedding tenders you must consider outsiders when you are employing, when you are recruiting, you must uh, consider also uh, outsiders. Let me say, for example, many people that would apply to Nyamira would come from Lowland. Uh, others will come from Karinjin land because these are the neighbors. The neighboring communities yes, yes. and counties. And uh, I don't see I'm going to discriminate against uh, uh, somebody who has come from Kericho, Bomet, uh, Narok, or, or from Migori, you know, Mabe or Kisumu. Uh, if that person uh, is qualified, we give them uh, a job. But uh, then you must also regulate to avoid, uh, uh, you know, a lot of political pressure. Yeah. And this is what we have talked about. Many governors, many governors have issues with their deputies. I don't know what is the situation. Where they have uh, issues with the, with the deputies is known. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you, you, you see, it, you cannot hide it. Uh. Uh, we are working very, 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 uh, you know, closely and harmoniously with the... Uh, with my deputy governor. I, I, I chose him to be my deputy governor. If there are any small, you know, dis differences, disagreements, you, you sit down and, and, uh, and address them. Yeah. But before they go out, yeah. both of us must be willing to sit down and talk. What is it that uh, I am uh, grieved over the, my, my deputy governor? Yeah. I have to tell him, you, uh, I'm not happy with this. He can also, yeah. he has also the leap to tell me, yeah. you, you know, I'm not happy with this and we can adjust. Yeah. In fact, uh, there was a move, and I think it was from the deputy governor of Kisi and many other deputy governors wanting they have to form their own deputy, deputy governor's uh, council. You know that. Let me tell you that that was an investigation. I want to be frank and say that that was an investigation from elsewhere. You know, mm -hmm. it's not everybody who, who is happy in this country that there is a devolution. And, uh, and what do you do when you want a family to break uh, into two and, and break down? You, you is take, that, the, you is that take so the husband governor? there and you take the wife there and you tell them what you, what what, what you want them what, to do. What, what, would that, um, what would that be? Who would want to instigate uh, conflict between the governors and the deputies, really? Uh, because there are so many organs in this country, <laughs> there are so many organs in this country that would uh, yeah. would not would be interested in. Uh, but e even yeah. my even even my members of parliament, yeah. even my MCS, even uh, you know anybody. Yeah, they're when they're I talk in my, I'm talking about uh, you know. Uh, the well, but the, 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 the issue was that deputy governor said they went, you went and negotiated with the president. You got parks, you got titles, you got. Uh, 
even vehicles with the governor something something they were left they they look like uh, they are what well, they are nothing who is a governor and who is a deputy governor we are working together what is given for example uh, mm. when you have a, a vehicle the, our vehicles are in Yamira, uh, you know governor number 46 a is for the governor b is for for the deputy mm -hmm. governor so if you are talking about parks these mm. parks cas cascade what you are getting, the governor is getting, the deputy is, uh, is getting. If we, I mean, there, are, there is no discrimination. But you see, when people meet, recently you, you saw what was happening with the MCS. Mm -hmm. There was the castle of uh, whatever, you know, for, for a speaker's forum, which was supposed to talk on behalf of, uh, of the MCS. What did you see happening? The, 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 the MCS removed the, 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 they went and removed the, uh, the, Speaker. the speakers and mm -hmm. the, you know the, the politics, but uh, really uh, well, that does not mean that there is yeah, trouble I think between the governors and deputies. Well, the the deputy challenge is that yes. uh, governors feel they're not being given, you no know, deputies feel like they're being uh, kept on the That's side exactly. because if a deputy uh, performs, we assigned significant responsibilities. They'll be attempting to take over from the governor because Those while you're are together, the uh, you, you cannot support your, your deputy too much because <laughs> it's your potential successor. No, no, it's not your potential. <laughs> my deputy cases, is yeah. not my potential successor. He's my deputy as at now. Yes. I am the governor. Yes. We know that. Yes. And, 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 and what is there is, if my deputy governor shines, I'll take the credit. In fact, I would like to, to give as much work to my to my to my to my to my deputy, deputy. governor yes. so that i can get time to to rest you if i can send him a, out you are a very special very governor, special we, governor must, we must congratulate you <laughs> because you cannot <laughs> stay there forever yes we are supposed to nurture these people yeah, yeah. and 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 uh, if you have you 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 cede these powers and yes. uh, and, uh, and you give them to the deputy governor yes. to your executives then you do less the, work. Dep yeah. the deputy governor uh, the, the governor fears that come 2017 the deputy governor will be running for governor with you well, I mean, uh, uh, if it happens, the people will decide. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. people will decide. Yeah. And, and uh, it may not be easy that way, because you That's are working some together. Some you are failure. Uh, your deputy governor cannot point at your failures and say, the governor did not do yes, this, because therefore, you because you are, work, you are working together. That's we are tied. It's just yes. like a husband and a wife. Yes, mm. yes. So, so really, <laughs> it pays that I work, to well, I work well with my, my deputy governor, and it also pays that the deputy governor works yeah. well with me yeah. after 2017 or if, if, if he wants to come any time i welcome him and the people will some governors feel you better cripple this guy yeah. because if i don't cripple him <laughs> you'll be whatever next yeah. you know, we are supposed to nurture them to come up yeah. rather than yeah, crippling yeah. them yeah. today you are here you are not the same person who is going to be here tomorrow Definitely not. and uh, if you want this uh, organization the citizen you know uh, organization uh, to, to 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 move up then you have to nurture the people who are under you. Give them uh, leeway so that they can, uh, they can, they can, they, they can germinate, come up, and yes. take. Let, let, right. let, it's let, just let, like a family. Let's go to money. We, we, will, yes. we, will, we will come to uh, the Nyamira County's issues because there are a lot of correspondence coming in. Yes. But let, yeah, as Mtegi says, the money aspect. Money, the money aspect. Um, there was a view expressed yesterday in this, on this table yes. that counties are co collecting less revenue than their former local councils. And the, we don't understand why that is happening. Is it because of corruption, inefficiency, or why? I think, um, uh, b to a large extent, there could be some truth in that. Some, uh, so, some counties, you know, as the counts came in, they also inherited the people who were from, from the, 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 local the, local, the local government. And we are trying to, we are trying to settle down. We are trying to put up structures like computerization. You know, so that uh, the collect the funds collection would be w would be more than what we are collecting. So now. systems are not yet in place. Some the are still we are we are we are we are uh, putting systems collection. In. We are putting uh, uh, systems in place. What most most software? counties are uh, are mm. are uh, automating uh, using. Yes. Uh, where 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 are you uh, in Yamira? We are we have already turned some moves. We have uh, sent out tenders. We have. Uh, shortlisted we have visited these people where they have uh, installed the systems and we are we are we the are to getting uh, yes. used yes what about the revenue absorption you, you want more money yet 
your systems of uh, procurement and the uh, absorption of the money you get from the government and the ones you collect is very poor. Those are lies. Let me say this. Yes. The truth of the matter is some of us may be unable to absorb, but th 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 these are very rare cases. Let me tell you that this man, like now, we have gone through second half of the, of the, of the financial year. And uh, the money that is being given to, to, the, to, the, to the counties is only 50% because uh, there was that ceiling of the county assembly and, uh, and, 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 and uh, many of, men of, men of us did not observe, observe it, the, the county assemblies did not like, so they moved to court and, uh, and uh, therefore we are, we, are, we are on 50% of our budget. We have gone through half a year. Mm. We do not know when the case in court is going to. Even for those of us who have complied, we have been told because the speakers have co a, court, a, a, court, a court case, you cannot be given this money. There is a delay of, uh, of, of release of funds from the, the Treasury, from the national government. Because then when the money comes late, what do you do? Like now the money has not been there. They will come up and say, look, the absorption. That is, that is politics. And, uh, and, uh, and I don't think it's a proper on, on assessment. On this particular year, of course, because of that dispute, uh, yes. there is a delay in the disbursement. But last year, uh, how much did Nyamira get? How much was spent we sp by the end of the financial year? We spent almost everything. Mm -hmm. We spent almost everything. And, uh, the, and we have done some projects. We are still waiting for, for money to be dispersed. I am sure that uh, I will not spend less than more than one, less than 100 percent in terms of uh, absorption. We have a lot of work. I want money. But what the, is, what the, is holding us the back? The general perception is that people don't see devolution. They, see, they just see governors and their entourage. They see the vehicles and the flags. But when it comes to the ground in the village, they don't see devolution. Surely, if nobody has seen devolution, if you go to Nyamira and people would have not seen the impact of devolution, mm. yes. what will they I see? would resign. In what, fact, what will they see? They will that, see roads. That, that ushers into the first that I wanted us to get yes. to. Now, the Nyamira uh, specific issues. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of questions are coming in about roads. When I go into Tamak, this road, the other one, I'll go, you know, I'll, look, I'll refer to them generally. Um, but first, let's get on to what you can consider to have been your achievement so yeah. far since you took government two years ago? Since I took over government, one, uh, I have improved the hospital health services. Uh, we have already uh, installed a CT scan. We are soon installing in the, in the, in the, in the main hospital uh, a dialysis machine. Well, we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, bought a lot of uh, uh, drugs for the for the for the for the health out outlets and uh, there is nobody who is complaining about uh, uh, lack of drugs uh, in, in in the hospitals in agriculture we we, we have uh, given people a lot of bananas to plant a lot of we give them stems to we, we give we give them uh, tissue culture bananas yes. we are giving them fish we're giving them beehives we're giving them chicken we have uh, uh, brought in a system where we inject animals with hormones and uh, they they become on heat at the same time and uh, they, they we we, we we, we, we inseminate them at the same time and we get calves at the same time so that that area of, uh, of uh, of daily uh, industry is going to to move on. We are going to get uh, a lot of uh, milk. Mm -hmm. So th th that's uh, in, in, in agriculture. We, yes. we are moving. Agriculture, you are expanding along those lines. Yes, we are, we are expanding. Yes, and, uh, and, and eventually we, we, we are going to have uh, cottage industries coming from uh, uh, where we are. Recently, we went to launch a calf feeding program. And in a small area, we got... 30, 30, you know, same age calves. And we have also reduced... Which areas are this? That is uh, that the whole mention. of Nyamira. Yes. But I'm talking about Gasore, which is near Nyamira. Yes. We have reduced the cost of uh, insemination, which was about 1,500 1, by one insemination. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have brought it 
down by, by way of subsidy to 500 uh, shillings yeah, by yeah. insemination. So every farmer who is inseminating his cow is getting a gain of 1,000 shillings from uh, one cow. We yeah. have done more than 200 kilometers of, uh, of roads about 10 of them per every word. These we have opened roads. up. Maram there, roads. there are Maram roads. Yes. When they talk about tamaking, you yeah. know, I mean, uh, the, the roads, yeah. the yeah. roads are divided. Yeah. Uh, there is that, there are those ones which are being handled by the national government, and there are those ones who, we are handling county roads. Yeah. And the county roads are below C. So A, B, and C are, are national roads. And, uh, and, and, uh, b b D and downwards, E and downwards, are what we call, uh, uh, you know, uh, count roads. Yes. So the expectations of the people that we should be able to tarmac the roads yeah. is not something that is achievable. Yes. So we have also, I have uh, recently, I have uh, done street lighting at Nyamira yeah. and, uh, and, and, the major, and the major markets, major towns in Nyamira, and, 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 and the people are happy, they can now work uh, for, uh, for uh, more than uh, Apparently, hours. you know, people don't seem to agree that you have done enough on the roads. Uh, you know, Job says the roads are still poor. Uh, perhaps the, you know, um, there's a road you did, Kegogi, Nyankongo. Uh, say you put a good job done, but no maram put on the roads. <laughs> there are those ones which uh, we can, uh, you so know. Which, which particular roads would you, you know, say first have been covered, if we may be systematic, then two are coming to be done or are in the plants, in the pipeline, so that people, your, you know, constituents in America can be satisfied that there is action coming. Let me tell you that the expectations of the people are high. Yes. And, uh, and uh, we are working within a political system. We are working with the MCS. Every MCA wants to see that something has been done in, in his ward. That is why we had to do 10 kilometers in every ward, every ward to yes. spread. Some of the roads we opened up, right. where there were no, no roads, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, previously, we have opened up. There are others we have maramed, and uh, there are others which we, we were opening Living. without maraming. Uh, yes. and, uh, and, and yet we have, yet because we, we have not gotten money, we are going to maram the ones that we were supposed to, to maram. I can give an example mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, of a road that we did from Sironga to Gesiaga. Where there was no road you before, created road. we created a road, and, and we, we reduced the distance of going to Gesiaga by, by, by several kilometers, and that road was, uh, was, was opened up, and it was maramed, and it's, it's now passable. Yeah. And I can... I Otiso can uh, from Matongo says, uh, you know, ask my governor, it is about the tamaking of the road from Chabera, Magwanga, Ikonge through to Kericho, Kisi Road. That is, that is, that is, that is a, a national government. That is a national government I, road. I can see it. it looks yes, like that is, I can count them. Yes. The, 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 the one from uh, Jabera to Jiblat, the one from uh, Kemera to, to, to Amabuko, the one from um, uh, uh, Kebrigo to Metamayo, those are national government uh, uh, roads. So uh, a governor will only influence by going there and trying to talk and talking to the people from uh, the Minister of Public Works to accelerate that one. Yes. So, but it is not within, within, within our docket to do that. The, yes. the, the, the health sector, a lot of challenges with the health sector. Many uh, counties of the nurses, the doctors on strike, and uh, a lot of uh, not drugs not in uh, the dispensaries and uh, health centers. I have already talked about uh, the availability of drugs. Last mm. year, I spent about 62 million shillings to avail drugs. Mm. Even anybody complains from Yamira yeah. that uh, there, is, there are no drugs. We, we may not satisfy 100%, but w we know there are drugs. What yeah. about ambulances? Clinical ambulances, I, I bought my ambulances at Yamira, five of them. Mm. Uh, I did not lease, I, I bought those ones. We, we had three old ones, which we have since rehabilitated. We have eight uh, ambulances, and we have distributed them in, in, into various subcounties. And uh, there is nobody who is complaining about the transportation of our, of our, of our, of our uh, patients. Yes. yes. Clinical officers, somebody raises that you uh, no, they are in shortage, uh, clinical officers and nurses in uh, staffing the hospitals. 
Well, that would, to some extent, that would be true. But you know, that one uh, uh, will depend on the availability of this staff. Okay. You, you, we do not train them. We have now Nyamira, uh, you know, the college. But uh, that's a national thing. Yeah. And, uh, and we have not come to where we are training. So what we are sharing... But you don't have to train. You can hire trained nurses from yes, anywhere. Yes, I mean, I if, if they are there, if they are there, because uh, you know there are they're, they're those ones who used to be there. And, uh, and, and, and we have absorbed them. We, have, we are left with a very few. The others we have already absorbed. And we do not have a lot of shortage. I don't think that uh, in Yamira we do have that. Mm. Yes. Uh, the construction of uh, Manga Stadium. Yes. Is that what you promised. Yes, uh, we do indeed. And, we, and we, are, we, are, we, are, we are on, on the way. Uh, that one is being done. It's uh, taking about 63 million shillings. And, uh, and, and, and the tenderer has been identified. Yes. Uh, things are being done, so that one will be done. Yeah. Yes. That is in this financial year, coming financial year, perhaps. It will take two phases because it's 62 million, 63 million shillings. It's not easy to raise for, uh, you know, that's a minister of gender, culture, and social sports and social services. Yes. The money we give into that docket will not be enough to, to construct. construct uh, then it would mean that you don't do anything else. There are so many other things that we are supposed to do. So that we, we are doing it in two phases. Well, let's talk about your pet subject, uh, alcohol abuse yes. and drug abuse. Yes. Is it rampant in your county? That one uh, is a national crisis. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we, we are at a point now where everybody should address that because of the impact and the effect it's having uh, on our young people even on our, on our, that abuse which is there. People used to think that uh, it's, uh, it's only hard drugs that have impact to, uh, to, to the, our social and economic uh, lives of, of this country. But uh, the, the easily available cheap uh, alcoholic drinks which are illicit are causing a lot of impact. Remember? Like uh, what? Uh, yeah? Illicit? Yeah. Like what? Because that like Chang'a. And, and I, I may have no problem with Chang'a because it's made, it's healthy, but the other things in plastic bottles, it's sold in Yes, trust. even even Chang'a. I mean, even, uh, Chang even Chang'a. I'm you know the way, the way, the way, no the <laughs> way, because you are talking... The, way, the traditional you are, way of taking Chang'a. Chang yes, is, you are talking country. about those days yes. mm. when the people were not malicious. Mm -hmm. Now people want money. They want to make that Chang'a today, brew it today accelerate the rate at which it is uh, brewing yeah. and sell it now. Making it in legal. fact, if it's not there, they will tell you, wait for uh, 20 minutes. They will go outside there, they use some formalin, mm. and, and uh, they make changa, and they bring. That's, uh, that they it's it's really killing people. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have seen what's happening here. Uh, during uh, uh, Mois, uh, President Mois, uh, you know, time, mm. he did a lot to control uh, you know, uh, alcoholic drinks in his uh, area, which was rampant in parts of uh, Rift Valley. Uh, uh, Mr. Kaguti did quite a, a bit, and, uh, and, and, and now uh, our friend Mututu uh, uh, is doing quite, quite a lot. You go, I come from a small place called Kunate. That's where I was born. You go there in the morning, and you, you get quite a number of young boys drunk. Mm. That is one area, but yeah. th that is everywhere. Yeah. These people do not go right. to, the, to the So farms. you, 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 so your, county, you about that? Your, your government, uh, your county uh, assembly passed legislation yes. on alcohol. Yes. Uh, what are the measures that uh, this, uh, you know, law to stop is, what uh, is happening right that could in place? One, it will set the standards on how these drinks will be will be made. Two, it will bar young people of a certain age, you can see that the people who are affected are, according to the, 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 the World Health Organization, uh, you know, reports, that the people who are victims of this are no major between 10 and 19 years, which is our younger generation. Mm -hmm. What are we going to have tomorrow? Our tomorrow is going to depend on our children today. And if these children are, are messed up in the schools, in the villages, then we all need to rise up and, uh, and address the, 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 the issue. Another thing is uh, that uh, this bill is addressing is penalties. Yes. How are we going to deal with those people? 
offenders. Who the offenders? Right. Yeah, and and we are we are Wh thinking of stand. What are the stand? time provisions? Yeah, yeah. In the in the in the bill in the new law, mm -hmm. uh, people should open their bars, businesses, and push a drink between what and what time? Yes, it also sets time that uh, from uh, from from uh, say from from five o'clock up to about uh, nine or latest ten o'clock, because even the bars, even the bars, uh, which are rampant, you go to a small market and you get that there are five, six, seven, eight. Nine bars, yeah. and and uh, you know the people who go there, they go and drink janga, they come yeah. to top up, yeah. because you see that's an outlet. This one so should also be controlled. What type of people get into this bars and and and, and drink, and how are we going to to deal with the culprits of uh, those ones that will break? This so law? so what are you going to do about the? It, it's very difficult to legislate the human behavior. We, yeah, we, 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 we want to the the we drunk. want we how want do you, how do you deal with them? We want to involve everybody. We want women groups, we want churches, we want uh, village elders, we want assistant chiefs, everybody to be involved, to have that will to fight it. You cannot fight it alone. You can't say I'm a governor yeah. and I'm going to fight it with my executive. Yeah. It must be a function of both the county and the national government. And the organs that will deal with this, these ones would be schools. What will the schools do? You know, the, you know, learning institutions so that small children can learn uh, good, 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 uh, good practices. What will churches do? What will women groups do? What will men groups do? You know, uh, and the like. We yeah. want to involve Is that everybody. Is that law? Yes. Involvement of everybody to tackle the vice. If you do not go that way, yeah. and you go single-handedly, there yeah. will be a lot of resistance. Yeah. There will be people but who are brewing but that. But Changa is brewed mainly because the police and the chiefs and the assistant chiefs and uh, the people in the local in the village, the condone it. There is a source of income, rent seeking. We have realized that too. I want to be so, frank. So we have uh, realized that too, and that's why I said we are taking stand measures. We shall take stand measures against anybody in authority, in opposition, that is supposed to, to, to deal with that one and is condoning it. Yeah. Say those ones who would be looking at it as a source of yeah. income. Uh, yes. Of course, the alcohol, alcoholism affects the youth uh, in a big way. And uh, somebody is saying, um, what, what exactly do you have for the youth in Nyamira? This is Steve uh, Mtetezi from Nyamira. He says, uh, what is your position on the youth? Uh, they don't seem to be accommodated much within your development agenda, and uh, perhaps this alcohol is one of them. But what is your vision, and what, how are you engaging them to make sure they get uh, livelihoods? And what we them? have done is that we have requested the youths to form groups. You know, other than coming up with uh, projects that uh, may accommodate, you know, employment is a, is a scarce thing. And even when we are being beaten up down there, what employment have we done? Because we took over the people who had already been employed by That's the right, local yeah. authorities. Yeah. How, what justification do I have as a governor to lay off those ones who are there in order to create room for the ones that are supposed to come? That one is a, is a big problem and uh, we do not have much of employment. Therefore, we are encouraging the youth to come up with uh, self-employment so that they become job creators rather than, you know, job seekers. And uh, what we are doing is, we have asked them to form groups. Yes. And we can, we can organize and uh, finance and help these groups. You cannot help individuals, because if yeah. you go for individuals alone... But, but I mean, but can but we... Are they are trained? More even, even if they form uh, groups and they're not trained? There are those things that they can do. Like there are those things. We are also alongside, as you, as you form groups, you do capacity building. We are, we, are, we are teaming up with even uh, local banks yeah. so that uh, if somebody, if you identify what a group but, is supposed but, uh, to governor, do, you, you, you do capacity uh, building. Uh, I detect that you are talking in terms, very general terms. Yes. Are there very specific projects that are involving the youth that you have, uh, in, you know, have been initiated and are being funded by your government yes. at this point? Yes. Yeah. What we have done, one, we, we started, we put all the youths together. And we told them we want them to raise, you know, by saving one shilling okay. per day, which is called uh, Pobni Swag. So that after saving that amount of money yes. over some time, yes. 
uh, we could form a cooperative. It has already been formed into a cooperative, and the, 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 the current government is pumping some money okay. to enable them to borrow, because if we depend on the one shilling per day, yeah. it will take a long time before that money That's is sufficient. Yeah. So the current government, I have agreed with my cabinet that we are going to pump in some money to, to, to raise the figure that is in the bank and these people borrow for their on businesses. The of that uh, that is one. Right. Two, we have also come up with, a, with, a, with a, uh, an academy. We call it uh, Talent Academy. Mm -hmm. which we have set up in one of the, four, one of the schools uh, so that uh, talented children can go there. Yes. Well, I, I gave a check of, uh, last week, but one, I gave a check of 1.5 million to Kiavanyor Talent Academy. We are trying to harness the, 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 the potential of the youth yes. to be trained. Yeah. And we are encouraging also, because I said we are giving groups, we are giving them chicken. Youth gurus can be given chicken, to start they, can, they can be given fish, right. they can be given uh, tissue culture bananas, they can be given avocados, they can be given uh, uh, passion fruits uh, uh, seedlings to start off. Right, right. And we have also organized uh, uh, with the banks so that, uh, you know, when you give youths uh, tenders, they might not have the money to, 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 to start to the supply. work. Yeah. So what we have done, we have organized with the banks. And uh, there, there is that system of LPO financing. Yes. If they, if they have been given, they take the LPO to the bank and, uh, and they get to the, the bank finances in phases, and, the, and, and these ones are able to, 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 to move. Yeah. We are saying we must work together. Let us not ask what the count has done for the youths. We, the youths have also to do something for themselves so that we can meet. Yes. As the count is moving towards them, they are also moving towards us. They come up with initiatives. We want to do this. We want to do that. We want to, and it would be difficult for the current government to say, start this, start that, start that. The yeah. initiative must come from, yeah. from, from the them. Themselves and and I think we are moving people afflicted. There was an irrigation plan you had. Yes. Is it coming up? Uh, it's coming up. Effect, it's, yes. it's coming up. It's yeah. coming when, up uh, because they are, they are there. Yeah? What is the progress of that? It is coming up. We have uh, we have we have uh, a tender has been given to to the people who are supposed to to do the feasibility studies. They are doing the feasibility studies so that we can come up with uh, what to do. W what do you want to do? Okay, that will be well, brought about. Because the because what is the general picture of what the general picture is? There are certain crops. You know, even if we say that Kisi is a rain, uh, Nyamira is a rain, uh, you know, uh, rain county, area, yeah. uh, it's not all the time that uh, there are certain areas which are dry. We have actually earmarked two areas towards the, the southern part of Kisi, which is not very, very rainy, with, with a soil that is a bit uh, sandy, and that's where we want to do irrigation. That area is called? It's called the uh, Bonyunyu uh, Bonyunyu Bonyunyu area. Bonyunyu. Yeah, Bonyunyu area. You intend to irrigate. Is this going to be uh, how how will it work? I mean, these are private uh, uh, farms or people who are going to be supplied with irrigation technology, or it will be a we are best project. We the county will take land that it will irrigate to create. No, no, no. It will be the the, the county may take a small portion for. Uh, for for uh, experiment experimentation piloting piloting yes but the, the the rest of the work will be done by by groups. Can you talk about uh, after production? You need uh, add value and then you need marketing. Yes. How are you doing about that? Because there is no point of producing uh, the avocados, bananas if they are not <coughs> they are not going to add value. They they, they, it's they, it's they come to Nairobi they are so cheap. It's not so even mm. it's not even adding value. Add value what and the, and what is the most important is yeah, yeah. the availability of, of market. Yes. Because you can add value and you don't which is a big problem with us in in terms of tea yeah. because you can add value to tea but where are you going to sell it? That is the problem. So we are we are we are teaming up with the people from uh, from uh, Asian countries like Dubai and uh, you know uh, Saudi Arabia and the rest to see if we can uh, take our bananas in the value added uh, form. So we shall start with the market as the bananas come up they take about two years. By that time I think uh, uh, we, 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 we are through with, with that project definitely uh, we would have had market. But even though, even though because we are also forming cooperatives because what has been happening is that people come, hawkers, and they come to somebody's home, 
they ask for a banana. This one is how much? They, okay, this one is uh, 300. No, I can give you 100. Because somebody's hungry, they take 100. We, we are looking at it. We want to form cooperatives so that these bananas are gathered there at the buying centers. And those people who come from Nairobi, can, can mm. just like they have done in, in Meru and yeah. other places. Yeah. I don't think that there would be sufficient enough bananas, sufficient enough for avocados. Yeah. We shall also, like in avocados, we shall have our small industries to make, uh, you know, the products of avocados like uh, cooking oil, yeah. like, uh, like uh, you know... You, uh, you intend to do flower farming as well? No, we have not uh, uh, really thought about uh, okay. flower farming uh, much. Okay. L the, in Amira, being an agricultural, basically, uh, county, and very heavily dependent on tea, uh, which you have spent most of your life anyway working with in tea factories, uh, tea is going through a very turbulent time. Therefore, the economy mm -hmm. of uh, yeah. Nyamira seems to be uh, in threat or under threat. That is one of the reasons Looking why at the low pricing and what is happening in the tea. What is the? Wha how are you going to deal with this? That is uh, that is one of the reasons why I've said we are doing diversification of our products so that uh, you do not look at one. Uh, you know, serious mistake is when people depend on one crop, crop or one source of income. That one becomes dangerous because if anything happens, then you are done. Yeah. Uh, so we are saying, can we diversify? Can we have dairy products? Can we value add our dairy products? Can we value add our 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 our, our other things like uh, like uh, avocados, like uh, uh, passion fruits, and like uh, uh, pineapples, and leave uh, uh, you know that over dependence on tea. Coming back to tea, this problem you see is not a Kenya-based yeah. problem. It's a worldwide mm. problem. So we are asking, how can we deal with this one worldwide? Even if you value add, which we are going to, because we have already uh, actually teamed up with the Kenya industrial estates, we are starting uh, uh, a small cottage industry in yeah. terms of uh, value addition of our tea. But there must be a demand. The consumption of our tea in this country is less than 5%. Mm. Yeah. So we mm. must now encourage even our own people yeah. to drink our own tea rather than buying you know if you come to Nairobi here and you you go to the shop to the to the to the, to the hotels what are they drinking yeah. some yeah. of the teas are ali, ali, ali something ali something or English tea or something like yeah. that so in the in this in the in, with this down you know uh, yes of, of, of tea yes uh, how, how is your government intervening to cushion the people against that adversity any subsidies or, or any marketing strategy that will cushion them against the adverse effects of, the, of low prices? That one is not there. Like now, know? for example, I had the cabinet secretary for uh, agriculture, Felix Kosgei, telling county governments to buy maize from farmers because Cereal's board has bought all it can and has no more money. The 1.2 billion shillings and is, is finished. Involved. So he's telling uh, county governments to buy maize from farmers, to yeah. help them. You, you, we can do that. But Is that you, a possibility? You, you can buy, but you know there must be a demand. Yeah. You cannot buy maize just <laughs> yes, for the yes. sake of it. Yes. Let, let you buy when there is <coughs> a demand, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you, you can set aside money, you buy some maize, you, you don't distribute free, you will also sell. So really, uh, if yeah. there is a market for it, we can for do tea, that. There will be let, let me go for to tea, that I, know, I know for tea, and I do not want to sound pessimistic, for the time being, tea is going through a turbulent, uh, you know, uh, yes. uh, season. Yes. And uh, the whole thing is not to give up. We shall continue to do what we are doing within, within, within that. There, there, there could be some uh, improvement into the future. Let me go to some cultural issues yes. that affect uh, Namira and Kisi in general. Yes. One is land, subdivision of land into nothingness because people must give their children land. Two is FGM, very rampant in your area. How are you dealing with those two issues? I'll start with the latter one. Uh, FGM is really decreasing. If there is anybody doing that, uh, the reasons why the cases used to do it was to, in girls, to, to it's a place of passage and to reduce maybe their anxiety. Mm. But these days so there is no difference between uh, the, the, the ones who but, are done. But there are certain areas where you, they do it in, uh, in, in groups. They not go to church, 
they go to church and they the right of passage is passed through yes without yes, yes. without any uh, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying this is this is true. Is that's that happening? Why, uh, what's mm -hmm. happening? Yeah, I, that's what uh, is happening in Yamira. We have had uh, uh, one day where we had uh, a full week of uh, of youngers and, uh, and 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 and, uh, and the people coming yes. together to create a place of passage. I tell you that whoever is doing it must be doing it silently. You know, those days it's like law. Eh? It's, it's, against, it's the against the law. So, mm. so they will be doing it in a stilly manner. Even the girls have already known that they should not be done. They will make noise. There are some, stri some, com some countries where the, the old men and women say, no, 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 we can't stop this. It's a tradition. Not, not in Yamira. Not in Yamira because we, we, we also, we are educated people. You know, it, it will also depend on uh, who is saying. No, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a professor whose children are uh, well, FGM'd. Well. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> because uh, maybe yeah. that one has yes. not known the impact yes. it has yeah. on the person who is being done. Yes. Every person has the right to, to develop to the full. Yes. Enjoy and themselves, and dignity, do whatever. Yeah. You know, yes. it's, uh, it's unfortunate. What yeah. about land? Land subdivision is, is a chronic disease in Kisi. Amira is densely populated. Uh, it's and densely populated. Yes. We are trying to tell the people, uh, why don't you build it together? You know, you mm -hmm. get spotted like this. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Somebody has three, five children. And every son wants to build everywhere. And everywhere is houses. Why don't you put them in a line and leave the small land but which is, is that there? Happening? That one is not happening. Uh, will but it, that will it ever happen? It will happen. Because you see, there will be a time when subdivision will be uneconomical. They used to fight over tea. Maybe a father has three children. Yes. And he has 1,000 plants. Yeah. So they divide. Uh, everyone gets uh, 300 yeah. and they have two sons each when they divide what mm -hmm. what are they going to get they will come to their senses and say no we are encouraging people to stop land subdivision actually in our next act which we are going to we are talking about land subdivision yeah and we are encouraging people yeah. that there must be a, s a certain size that can be divided and there are certain sizes which cannot be divided because it's uneconomical causing a lot of, uh, you know, economic uh, uh, downturn in terms of uh, those divisions. I'm, I'm, I'm getting feedback <laughs> from uh, your uh, people from Nyamira, and the persistent question is about, one, employment practices within the county, that there is nepotism, there are accusations that you've been employing your relatives, uh, accusations of you developing your area where you come from more than the other area I think you need to just respond to these things and what happened to the service board thank you very much uh, thank you very much one uh, they are talking about uh, uh, employment of, uh, of, of relatives yes that I is a problem I come from there you know I come from there I come from Yamira Everybody comes from somewhere. Yeah. Yes. yes. Let me, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I come from Yamira. Yes. And I employ people. The people who are employed are people who come from Yamira. Definitely, in one way or the other, we shall be related. Even without knowing that you are related, you may get that you are related. What happens? When, we, when I was employing the ministers and uh, the public service board, yes. I did not participate. I gave, I called, I, I formed a committee of the, of the pastors, uh, priests, former uh, members, former, members, former, former uh, teachers, former women, women leaders, and I gave them. They did the shortlisting, and they brought to me, and I gave it to the, public, to the, to the, to the county assembly. Yes. And Nyamira has four, Nyamira has four uh, constituencies. Oh, yes as four constituencies mm. and every constituency is, uh, is, 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 uh, is represented. It would, be, it would be madness if I went looking for relatives. Who comes from Kitutu that is my relative? Who comes from, uh, from North Mugrango that is my relative? Who comes from Borabu is my relative? Yes. That is uh, demeaning my position. Yes. And, uh, and I've, heard of, I've heard of this thing. Yes. And uh, when I've gone to these places I say Sometimes I'm there with the ministers. That one comes from Kitutu. That one comes from Kitutu. That one comes from West Mugrang. That one. 
one person, anybody I employ from yes. West Mugrango what? will be related in one way or the other because that is where I come from. It could be a, a, a son, you know, uh, a nephew or something like that. And, uh, and the people will dig and find out. And you must have a very extended family. I mean, <laughs> if <laughs> all of that county, you would have relatives here and there. Or is it clans that spread? So, you know. There are, several, there are several clans. In Ikitutu, there are several clans. And I've made sure that uh, I've catered for almost a good number of those clans, uh, subject to availability. In West Mugrango, which is my home, yes. where, that's where I was born, I, anybody I would pick on, w it would, would be reflected. Be I, yeah, it would be. So I don't know what these people are, are really talking the, about. The, the, governor, other, the governor is in a fix. Yeah, and I don't, <laughs> I don't normally <laughs> make comments about this because I know they are, they are lies. <laughs> Nepotism, uh, I have heard of it. Initially you said you don't employ. Yeah. Is there a, 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 a group that employs? It is the, the public the service board. The public service board. Yes. When does the governor come in? Is so that now you are being blamed for employing your relative. You know there are those ones which after the public service board has done, say they, 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 would, they, would, they would interview the, 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 the chief officers. Yeah. Then they will bring to me. When they are brought to me, I am supposed, we are working in a political environment. They may, as the public service board, they may even employ from one area, depending on who qualified. Yeah. So I'm supposed to do the distribution thing. Even now, I happen to leave out whoever they recommended because of the distribution. They will say, oh, this, we recommended this and and, uh, under the take. governor. Okay. Anyway. That, that's for the people, you've answered that for them to yes. judge and decide. Um, yes, I want to talk about the public service board. Yeah, public mm -hmm. service board. You dissolved it? We did not dissolve it. Yes. What happened is that uh, uh, there was some employment and we told them to, and because this matter is in court, I do not want to, to talk too much about it. But I'm saying that uh, after we, we suspended, I said we were not satisfied in the way these people were distributed. There were small people there. We have come all along. It's only small people, enforcement officers. Who are people who, who, down there? Then we said, I think this is not proper. Go and have a look at it. We have suspended. The counter assembly took it from there. They were also uh, unsatisfied, so they suspended them. And these people went to court. Okay. That's where it is, and I do not want to make it has nothing to do with comment. nepotism. It has nothing. Okay. Th these people are spread from all yeah, over. I what understand. Is this I mean, people always make claims. Some may be true, may yes, not be, yes, but yes, it's good you respond yes, and put your perspective forward. Yes, yes. But the matter of corruption still persists. In fact, as we come to the end, this seems to be a very persistent uh, claim by your people. Uh, the governor is presiding over corruption and mismanagement. Let him tell us how much he has used in the Talent Academy, which you mentioned earlier. I think you said 1.5 million and Manga Field, uh, the two projects have been cash cows. He's, they say you use 10 million shillings to mobilize youth for Bob Niswag, which has saved only 80,000 Bob. So, you know, how is that? Well, first, first let me say this. It will depend on who is asking that question. Yeah. And they're always saying that uh, we, are, we are presiding over, over, over cash cows. Yeah. I have I have seen those uh, those allegations, allegations yes. and uh, they do not uh, they do not really worry me. But uh, uh, Bob Niswag, I mean uh, Talent Academy. Yes, we, we we have spent some money. We have spent up to about three million shillings. Three million. Yes, uh, but what I was giving was one point five. I gave during Madaraga Day. I gave one point five million shillings to continue to to make them move on, and we are within a school, Manga. Manga, 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 uh, I mean, uh, Pop Yes. First, some money has to be spent in mobilizing these people yes. and the uh, building capacity. Yes. So, what they have saved, yeah. what they have saved is might not thousand. be commensurate with what, what we spent, spent because initially, yeah. when you are building a house, you, you must use money. And then you would expect that this money will, uh, will return. Yeah. Yes. That and uh, if anybody is talking about 10 million, I don't know anything about that 10 million. Although I, do kn I cannot say for sure yeah. that I'm capable of scrutinizing and knowing what every ministry has spent on what project. Okay. Yes. All right. I think we have to end. But the people disagree with you about the health uh, uh, deployment of hiring of health workers. They say Nyamira Level 4, is it Level 4 Hospital? has only four clinical officers or some, the information that is getting in, that you need to hire more uh, health workers because uh, the hospitals are understaffed. And they are
casual or temporary health workers you engaged, you hired, and you're not uh, paying them? We are not the ones them. who hired them. They yeah. were there before. Yes. And we have taken a number. There are only 43 who are left right. who have been asked to, to come in with their documents. Yes. And as uh, soon as they, 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 then we shall confirm them. They are, we have already told them that. So it's on the way. It's on the way. And if anybody is talking about understaffing, <laughs> yes. understaffing, we have done quite a bit for that hospital. But you know, because of too much expectations, including people wanting you to come up with an airport immediately, uh, people yes. wanting you to tarmac all the roads. People, I recently... They uh, say the field, airfield you want to build is near a Kisi, and you're not bringing things to the center. Even it's Mama not Stadium near a field. It's going to be next to Kisi County. It is not... Uh, Major Namira is not going to get this facility. I was saying, you know, manga is a traditional thing. It has been there. And it comes from uh, when we are also taking these projects, we distribute them yeah. into sub-counties. It doesn't matter. After all, what is the purpose of devolution? Yeah. to spread further that's right so if they want me to concentrate on nyamira alone yeah. as a town then we will have not uh, that that's not devolution yeah that is a decentralization of uh, and that nyamira yes. finally it's they say it's not dirty filthy you have planted flowers on the roads but you have not fixed the roads <laughs> <We're> <laughs> fix it. You, you go there you have not you, organized you, nyamira you, town. you go there yes I, I have already told you it will depend on who is, uh, who is saying that. Yes. You, c you could, uh, if you had come there before, yeah. to see what Yamira looked like. Yeah. Yeah. And you come now. Yes. People are so petty that they are talking about flowers. <laughs> flowers, too petty. Yeah. Uh, that's no, a say, that is beautification. Is not good, but you've done beautification. So they would expect to fix the road. Which, which Don't road? Don't beautify a dirty, uh, I mean, an, an impossible road. road. A a road. road. No, no. Are you, are you, yeah. are that's you? what they are reckoning. Th that's what we have talked about. Yes. That the responsibility of doing tarmac roads is not a county function. It's not a county function. Right. So am I going to sit until the national government patches a, a pothole and then I plant flowers? You cannot you fill continue the doing. You you fill it using what, madam? It will go back to Mother Earth immediately. Yes. Yes. You, right. you have known these things. You drive on those roads. Yes, I hope they yeah. have heard you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finally, you know, your last word. I mean, the go governor's uh, referendum, you are here. Uh, it is tottering on the brink of uh, collapse. Others believe it is still on. What is the final it word? It is still on. It is still on. And uh, we are only, it should not be something that we should politicize. The governors are asking for more resources. And we have shown and we have proved that we can do development. There is no place, there is no remote place in this country where devolution has not been failed by way of the activities that are taking place there. Even when you go to Isiro, you go to Sambul, you go everywhere, devolution is doing some work there. We are simply saying that if some more money could be brought down, and we are basically asking, are there functions that have been devolved whose resources have not been forwarded. Because the Constitution says uh, functions, resources will follow yes, functions. functions. Yes. And th that's where we have started from. Yes. That th there are functions that have been devolved. Yes. Whose resources have not been held. devolved. Yes. <coughs> we start from there. <laughs> and if it is done, yes. how much will it be? Yes. And then we are talking about 45%. So we are saying, let this money come and people will have a a look at what's uh, what's happening. As for these questions that come up, they are likely you cannot agree with everybody. That's yeah. true. We, we 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 are working even at your home you where you have your children. You please another and offend another. Yes. Is, uh, <laughs> so you please one person, you are offending another one. Yeah. Uh, but we we move on, yeah. and uh, and and I think we are doing we are doing fairly well. All these allegations. Okay. I you have not running, made. Running for government in 2017. I, I, uh, what? Well. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, I'll work. Mm 